first big lesson, and by the way, obviously this is consumer, but I think it applies, a lot of these apply both to consumer and enterprise. So first big lesson is what you measure matters. And this is, you know, everybody talks about how if you don't measure it, it won't improve. I'm sure you've all heard that. But one of the lessons that I realized uh, is that Choosing what you measure is, is just so critical. Because if you choose the wrong thing, you end up optimizing to make that thing better. And that will waste a ton of resources because you're basically going to end up doing the wrong things to move the wrong metric. And just to give an example, so early on at Pinterest, we created a growth team. And the growth team you know, was trying to figure out what their goal was. And they ended up choosing monthly active users. And so what they ended up doing is they created an entire product roadmap that was focused on basically pouring users into the top of the funnel, starting kind of creating signups. Uh, and and that, was, that was how they saw their job. The problem was is that our, the product team, like my team, was responsible for driving, uh, driving like engaged users. We wanted to take the users that were already using Pinterest and make them even more engaged. And so you had this problem, which was that Yes, the growth team was, was increasing the number of monthly active users, but w really what was happening is that there was a lot of people coming in the top of the funnel and then a big leaky bucket. And so what they ended up doing is that they realized this. We changed the goal of the growth team to be what we call weekly active pinners. So basically a person coming in that week and pinning. That's what we saw as a successful user on Pinterest. And it completely changed the roadmap of the growth team. So they saw their jobs not only as getting people the top of the funnel, but activating those signups into successful Pinterest users. And it was and it's so much better for the company and so much better for the user. So really, when you're choosing your metric, and you should really always try to choose one thing that you, that you orient towards, really be intentional about it. Play the roadmap through of what you would do in your product to optimize for that, that metric. Uh, and it better, you know, it better be the right direction. The second thing that I just didn't take uh, into consideration when, really when I, when I joined Pinterest was how important org chart is. So everybody talks about how it's all about the right people and the right job. And, and that is obviously critical. But if you have the right people and the right job but the wrong org structure, they're just not going to be able to execute. And so I'll give you another example. Uh, and obviously, we made a lot of mistakes at Pinterest, which you can learn from and then get better. And so here, like in this case, early on at Pinterest, you know, I was uh, in charge of our discovery team. So the search, recommendations, a couple other teams. And any time I wanted to ship a new feature, my team actually was only back-end engineers. Because what we did in the beginning is we had a very matrix organization. So the strategic pillars, the product teams, were kind of these verticals. And then we had the web team that was its own team, the mobile team that was its own team, and then design that was its own team. And so it meant that if I wanted to ship a feature, I had to basically beg, borrow, and steal in the organization. I had to go to the design manager and be like, hey, is there a designer coming? We're starting to think about this feature for search. And you know, we want to start like, putting some specs, some like, kind of ideas together. All right, in two weeks, OK. So in two weeks, let's start there. And then you go to the, the iOS engineering manager and be like, hey, when's the, engineer, when's the mobile guy going to come available? Oh, OK, in three weeks. So that means I need to get the design done in one week, and I should get the back end started now. And it was just terrible. It was so inefficient. And then we made a change to have what we call full stack teams. So you had my team was me, back end engineers, mobile engineers, web engineers, designers. And what I could do then was I could prioritize my resources and what we built based on what I had control of. We were more integrated and we just built better products. So org chart is really critical. It's important to really be strategic and think through how everybody's working together. One thing is, if there's too many meetings happening in your company, that's probably because your org chart's wrong. Hey, if you're a small or medium-sized business, even a large one, you're trying to find solutions to solve your problems, right? Wouldn't it be great if there was like a directory or a marketplace where all these great web services were found? Well, that service now exists. It's called Capterra, C-A-P-T-E. R-R-A, Captera, and they help you find the software solution that your business needs right now. You can just go to captera.com slash twist, and 
whether you need website building or customer service, project management, maybe you want to track applications and uh, do email marketing, it's so easy to use. You'll find 400 different categories of software to choose from with thousands of ratings and reviews from actually people who've used this software. You get to you know, have that experience where before you go to the restaurant, you can hear what other people did. Well, this is just like those services. Before you use the software, you can hear what other people who've actually used the software think. Millions of people are using Captera every month, and it's free. That's the best part about it. There's no obligation. You don't even need to register. It's a free resource that will help you make the right decision when evaluating software. And you want to make the right decision because everybody knows it's a little bit of an investment, right? In which one of these software programs do you pick? There's cost involved. There's onboarding time involved. There's training. You want to pick the right one, and Captera will help you pick the right software to grow your company. Find the right software to help you do what you do better. Captera.com slash twist. Captera.com slash twist. Welcome to the program, Captera. Everybody follow Captera on Twitter. And if you're a super fan, you know what to do. Say thank you at Captera on your Twitter handle and let them know that you love them for supporting independent media like This Week in Startups, where we all learn so much every week, twice a week, 100 plus episodes a year. We're all learning so much here, thanks to people like Captera that support independent media like This Week in Startups. Okay, speaking of which, let's get back to this amazing program. Mm -hmm. 